And most people I talk with my older brothers, their friends, and I tell you what, most of them, they're, they're looking for like entrepreneurship ideas, right? They're like one of, one of them trying to start their own business in, in real estate. And I'm telling them, Hey, that's awesome. That's great. But let me just remind you that the hacks that I set up for you, it was initially like 50, $50 and now it's worth like 15,000. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but I'm telling them like, Hey, just a reminder that, Hey, the hex stakes that you have that I set up, those are constantly working for you. And every single day, even if you don't get what you want today, or you don't feel like you've made progress, at least you've made daily yield from the inflation and penalties. So it's a really exciting concept when people can understand that literally every single day you're getting paid that you're staked. And uh, what a great opportunity because Richard did say in his earlier videos that if you ever try and trade, and, and you and I both know this, but if you ever tried to trade like your time for money, it just never works because when you're sleeping, you're not able to make money. So if you can have something that does work for you and that generates yield and works for you while you're sleeping, then that's what the wealthy people do. So you want to get rich. I'm going to tell you a little something about money. In this world, you don't see the richest people doing things with their time and getting paid hourly. There's not enough hours in the day. If you're the highest paid lawyer, the highest paid doctor, no matter how much you make, there's still just not enough hours in the day. There's only one of you, right? We may have different educations, different skills, uh, different opportunities, but the one thing we all have the same is our time. So in this world, if you want to become truly wealthy financially, you need to do things which aren't based on your hours. That means that you need to start a business or own something because when you're sleeping, the things that you own will still be working, right? So let's say you own a piece of real estate and you rent it out. When you go to sleep, your real estate's still working for you. Let's say you start a business and you have some employees doing the work. Once you can afford your first employee, you can waste your time however you like, assuming that the employee you hired is the right one and can do the job as well as you used to.